Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl just saying if I get back with another video. Today is gonna to be a storytelling time. Ow. As to how I met one of my best friends named David, who is like a little brother to me. And I say little because he's younger than I am. I think by a year. Yeah, a year. So, we met. I want to say it was over 10 years ago, but I honestly don't even remember. I know we were like, actually, yeah, it was over 10 years ago. We met when I was like 12, and I believe he was 11. So yeah, we met, it was my first day at a new school. So y'all know how it is. You being a new kid in school is like nerve wracking as hell. So like y'all know that feeling or not? Just me? Alright, uh, cool. So, first day, new school. People looking at me like, oh, what's with this new chick? Like, the fuck? So, David and I come across to each other. We had the same class, um, elementary school. So, he and I had the same class. He kept trying to, like, get me out of my shell, if that makes sense. Like, because I was really shy and nervous with my first day, like, New girl in the school, bitch ass nervous, right? So, David being the kind person that he is, like, like right now he's kind of annoying, but I love the kid. He's like my little bro. But, like, back then, he would always try and, like, take, put his hand on my back, be like, come on, go introduce yourself. I'm like, no, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> but that's just because I was really shy. By the way, if y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm making a big ass flower. So, yeah. That happened. And then he kept saying, oh no, come on, you're not gonna make much friends. If you don't try and introduce yourself, I said, yeah, no, but I'm too shy. So, me being the little shy thing I was, I was way too nervous, I kept saying, no, I'm fine, I don't wanna do that, I'll do it myself when I feel ready. So, David kept trying his hardest to like get me out there to make friends which i understand what he was doing thank you for that by the way david even though you really didn't get me out of my show thank you because i know he's gonna watch this so yeah he and i met back in 20 no 2010 somewhere around that because right now i'm 23 and he just turned 22. So, when we met, we were around the ages of 12 and 11. Basically, we were kids. So yeah, he and I had the same exact class with a bunch of other kids. So, David always tried his hardest to like, get me out there and like, you know, not be too shy, but it really didn't work. The only time I wasn't shy was when I was in my own class. But then I did some big fun, so yay for that. Then there's this other story how he and I reunited after graduation. We reunited at a place called BOCES. So for those of you who don't know what BOCES is, it's like a program for students. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just a program for students. So me and him reunited there. This boy, I saw him, I said, well, it's actually kind of my fault, because if I hadn't said his name, he wouldn't have done what he did. Now, this is the part where y'all gonna laugh at me, because I got embarrassed. I said, David. He looked back and went, <laughs> like, you know, two fun way. So, for him, he's very affectionate when he sees his friends. Like, if they're close to him, like best friend was. Excuse me. He'll literally like give you that big bear type hug. So I'm just like, oh god, why did I do that? <laughs> like me being shy as fuck, having anxiety, getting embarrassed easily. Bitch, I should not have said his name. I should have waited. Then next thing you know, in class, he fucking has to blow down <laughs> that he knows him. It's like, fucking really, David? But he's a good kid. It's just like, you know. He could be like embarrassing at times, but he does it out of love. So, one time at Boshi's, for some reason, he and I always loved to clean the cars. I don't know why. So, there was this one time where he and I were cleaning a car together. 
And then, I don't know how he dropped it, but y'all know the thing, like, when you're cleaning a car, well, not all places have it, I don't think. But like, there's that hose that you would, like, use the thing and go like that and squirts. That's what he did. So he dropped it somehow. And I guess that part that squirts hit the floor. And it squirted him in his area. I was like, oh, shit. I started laughing because I found that funny. Like, not in a embarrassing type way, but, like, it was funny. And then some dude walks by. I don't even know who this dude was, but he, you know, was up in the clothes, if y'all know what I mean. Wink, wink. Meaning he was getting high. So, yeah. He did it almost every day, I think. I wonder if that dude ever got caught, though. No, but he had went past as David and I are cleaning a car. And then this dude started laughing at David. And then I didn't know what to do. I was like, I mean, yeah, that is kind of funny. But shit, Dave, you all right? <laughs> so, yeah. David and I have quite a lot of stories together. Some are embarrassing, some are not. But, yeah. Um, that's really it for now. So, other than that, I know this video was really short. So, it's been to see now. And I'm out. Peace.